Hello and welcome to What's Pissing You Off Wednesday for October 27th, 2021. For those of you new to What's Pissing You Off Wednesday, this is where I, Kevin McTaggart, get angry about whatever's pissing you off. And hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy it enough to like the YouTube video or or um, subscribe, rate, and review wherever you listen to podcasts. You know, or subscribe to the YouTube channel, all that stuff. Hopefully you like it, enjoy it, enjoy it enough to do that. And I, I just hope that you enjoy what you're watching, or you hate what you're watching, but you still watch anyway. Because I think people who hate stuff watch longer than people who don't like stuff. So probably if you hate what you're watching, let me know and I'll keep doing more stuff to piss you off because you'll keep watching because people who hate things will watch it longer than people who like things. I learned that from the Howard Stern movie from 20 something years ago. Anyway, um, if you want if you'd like to contribute to what's pissing you off Wednesday, there's uh, instructions in the show notes. So go ahead and read them and then follow the directions on how to contribute. So um, let's get to this week's episode. Here's a contribution from Jono on Twitter. There's no frickin' chicken wings. No chicken wings? What the hell are you talking about? No chicken wings. I asked him this question on Twitter. Follow me at McTaggart Attack. And um, Jono gave me a, a link to an article which you can find on my Twitter account that explains that there's multiple factors as to uh, there being a chicken wing shortage. COVID-19 had a big deal with it. Um, let's see, there was also... Uh, um, there was uh, cravings, I guess. More people craved chicken wings now. I I don't know. And there was like a there was also a shortage of chicken of chicken wings because of the whole uh when Texas froze um uh, earlier this year. You can go ahead and read the article, but seriously, no more chicken wings. No it's chicken wing shortage. Running out of chicken wings. What the what, what the No. Fuck no. This is this has gone too far. This pandemic has gone way too damn far for there to be a shortage of chicken wings. No. One of my favorite foods is chicken wings. And god damn it, if I go to a restaurant one day that you typically usually has chicken wings and they tell me we don't have chicken wings today because of the shortage, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be angry. I don't know how... I, I, I don't know how angry or pissed off I'm going to be. But seriously, we need to get our shit t- together. No more chicken wings. Running out of chicken wings is like got to be a sign of the apocalypse. A goddamn sign of the apocalypse if there's no more chicken wings. If we have a sh- chicken wing shortage. A chicken wing shortage. That's, no, that's that's preposterous. This can't happen. It's not going to happen. We, we, no, I, I, I will not be very fucking happy if I go anywhere that has chicken wings on their menu and then you see a sign that says no chicken wings I'm leaving I'm done I won't go to that restaurant until they bring the chicken wings back because that's probably why I went there that's probably why I went there it was because of the chicken wings and there are no chicken wings like my god I think I saw something in that article that talks about how like restaurants are making chicken sandwiches now and that's what's uh, leading to the less. The, the, that's what's leading to the chicken wing shortage or chicken sandwiches. If I had a choice between a chicken sandwich and a chicken wing, I'm eating a chicken wing. I don't need to eat all that bread and lettuce and mayonnaise and all that shit. Just, I, just give me the goddamn chicken wing. You ask me, what would you rather have? A buffalo chicken sandwich or a chicken wing? A chicken wing chicken wing shortage. It is bullshit. And this is an an atrocious audacity horrible thing that better end soon. It better not affect me. 
or chickens will be kicked. Here's a contribution from Daniel Gagne on Twitter. Chromebooks. My daughter curses about hers every couple days. Chromebooks, yeah, Chromebooks. Uh, uh, my mom had a Chromebook, well, still has a Chromebook, but now it takes up space in my room because there was an issue with, like, the power supply. We couldn't, it, it, we couldn't, like, uh, we couldn't charge it. It wouldn't charge. It stopped, it stopped taking the charge. And it, she only had it for, like, a couple of years. She didn't have it for that long. And then it just, like, shit the bed because it just stopped charging one day. Like, you'd have to, like, move it and have it in such a position to, like, have it actually charge. And now you just, you just move it anywhere now and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't charge up anymore. It doesn't do shit. It's fucking useless. So reading your tweet actually made me feel a lot better about the Chromebook. And in that I don't want to get one anymore. And that it's apparently like a a popular problem. So I'm glad that that we're not the only one at our house that has a Chromebook that absolutely sucks. I'm glad that your daughter is having issues too. Good. It makes a better paperweight than it does a goddamn computer. Chromebook, that should be the slogan. Makes a better paperweight than a goddamn computer. That's what, sh that's what the slogan for Chromebook should be. Ridiculous Chromebook. Chrome, Chrome piece of shit is more like it. Chrome, Chrome crap. Crap book is probably a good name for Chromebook, you know? Get a crap book and get what you paid for. Basically. Honestly, that's just stupid. It's awful. I mean, god damn. I'm never getting a Chromebook, that's for sure. Of my own. No, I have an HP and I seem to like it and it seems to still work. But like Chromebooks. No, no. <laughs> Whenever I hear Chromebook, I'm just like, oh, nope, I'm Chromebooks for sale. Well, you can you can sell them for a dollar. You can sell a Chromebook for a damn dollar. And I'm still not gonna buy a goddamn Chromebook. <laughs> Here's a contribution from Leslie Zebrowitz. She's pissed off. The library refuses to touch library cards, as if we're contagious and have just given them a tongue bath. If we set it down on the counter, they make us pick it up and put it in a tiny basket. Wow, Leslie, I, I honestly had no idea that libraries were still a thing. They are. They are apparently still a thing. Um, library cards, I guess. The librarians don't want to touch library cards because they don't know where they've been. Like, they haven't been touching library cards for fucking decades, and now you don't want to touch library cards? Maybe it's the touching of that library cards that strengthened your immune system over the years, and now you don't want to touch goddamn library cards? Library cards. Really, you just put them in a you just tell them to put it in a basket now, and then we can pick out our own library cards. But we're picking it out, out of the pool of other people's library cards. So we're, it's not like we're only touching our library card now. We're touching other people's library cards too, which defeats the purpose of what the librarian wanted. The librarian didn't want to touch any goddamn library cards. Right? And now they want us to touch all of the library cards, it seems like. Seriously, why don't they just, isn't there like a, shouldn't they just put a scanner thingy on the library card? Maybe that's all they should do, is just do that. That way all they have to do is scan the library card, but God forbid a library actually embraces technology. I don't think a library does embrace their technology. They, they barely have a small, probably have a small section of, of computers where you can go on the internet. When you can go on the internet on your goddamn phone, you need... You don't need to go to the computers at the library anymore like you did 20 freaking years ago. You know, it's just it's just ridiculous. I mean, the library, if you're listening to this and your library has also issues with the library cards and not wanting to touch them, has librarians not wanting to touch the library cards, chime in on this post wherever you're listening to it or watching it. You know, feel free to comment and, and tell us what your library card situation is in your neck of the woods. 
Maybe you're not in backwards Georgia like Leslie is, and they're maybe that's just the lone exception that their librarians are just fucking idiots. Even though they're in a library and you'd think they'd read more and not be idiots, but nope. Still stupid. Maria Lewis on Twitter. Come on. I'm from Boston. What do you think is pissing me off today? I'm assuming that Maria is um, referring to the Red Sox losing in the ALCS to the Houston Astros. Um, how greedy are you, Maria? Honestly, let's think about this, okay? Let's talk this out. First of all, I'm a Red Sox fan too, so hold on. Let me just, let me just do this for just one second. <clears throat> Should have put the hat on before I started this, but yeah, look. Um, prior to 2004, I don't know if you knew this or not, but the Red Sox hadn't won a World Series since 1918, okay? Wasn't sure you were aware of that or not. And now, from 2004 on, they've won, like, um, uh, four of them? Four of them. And so, like, you, Maria, have dead relatives who never saw the Red Sox win. And yet you, in your lifetime, have seen them win four times. And now you're upset that they're not going to make it to the World Series this year when the Red Sox have already won four World Series in your lifetime while your dead relatives have seen them win zero times. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Stop being greedy. Stop being a greedy Red Sox fan. Stop being greedy. When you act greedy, you act like a Yankee fan. And what type of fan are you, Maria? Are you a Yankee fan or a Red Sox fan? Be grateful for what you have. Don't be greedy for what you don't have. Because when you become greedy, you become a Yankee fan. Nikki on Twitter has a contribution. She is pissed off about the high price of gas is passing me off. I assume she means pissing. Can afford smart car because cars are also expensive. I didn't realize uh, at the time when I read Nikki's uh, contribution that she actually gave me two contributions. So I'm only going to talk about one of your things. Actually, technically two of your things. I mean, um, and the, the second thing isn't really your fault, but Come on, um, passing you off? The price of gas is passing you off. You meant pissing, I hope. Or, or maybe you're saying passing gas. Were you trying to be funny? Or did you just spell passing wrong? Or maybe because it auto-corrected the passing. I don't know. But yeah, it's either your phone probably like shows the autocorrect option, which sucks. I hate when the phone does the autocorrect thing. But yeah, I'm only going to talk about the, the price of gas going up. And that, that is that is annoying. Like, it, it, oh my God, it costs almost $50 for me to load, fill up my car now, which sucks. But it's what you got to do. And it's funny how the gas always goes up when a Democrat is president. But that doesn't really happen when a Republican is president. It's almost as if, like, the Republicans make the gas go up to make us hate the Democratic president. That's what it feels like. Because the, the Republicans, to me, are incarnately evil anyway. So I just think I have to blame them for the gas prices. And plus, I'm probably going to post this on TikTok. And I know that... People are going to get mad at me for that and post a lot of hateful political shit on my TikTok video. So go ahead and do it, fuckers. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, uh, I hate the high price of gas. I remember when gas was less than a dollar 20-something years ago. And now it will never be that way again. I wish that it was, but it's not. That sucks. Just sucks. I hate the fucking high price of gas. It's just terrible. But like, it, it, who knows? I, I think it's supposed to go down again in 2022. And I hope so. But we'll see when that happens. But yeah, I hate the high, yeah, the high price of gas is pissing me off. But it might be passing Nikki off. I, 
don't even know what the hell that means, Nikki, but I hope you meant pissing. Here's one from Kevin McTaggart on Facebook. Hi, Kevin. You know what pisses me off? People who press the like button for these posts, but never contribute. Yes. Seriously. I'm sick and tired of when I post. What's pissing you off? And something like that. Usually I say, tell me what's pissing you off and I'll get angry about it for you. In the next, in the next episode of What's Pissing You Off Wednesday. And I have people like the post, you know? Either like the post on Facebook or they'll like the post on Twitter and they won't even contribute. You know? I mean, what the hell is the point? You know? I just... Don't just like the post. Like the post and comment. Give me something to get mad about. There's one guy even in there who comments, Oh, these are great. Like, that's not the con that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Don't tell me how great the it is and how funny I am. I know, but I mean you can keep doing it. But just like contribute something. You know, I just just contribute something to the podcast. Don't just like the hit the like button. Maybe if you, maybe by you hitting the like button that causes people in your circles to look at it, which is fine and I hope that works, but who knows? <sighs> It's just annoying. I hate when I see that. Oh, they, they liked it. But then they didn't comment on it. So they must not have liked it as much as I thought that they did. People are stupid. But thanks for liking my posts, even though you're just phony pieces of shit that just like the like posts are lazy. You're not even phony. You're lazy. Yeah, you're just lazy. You just like, oh, I like this. I'm like, you, you apparently don't like it enough to actually fucking contribute to my podcast. So there. <sighs> Here's a contribution from Vincenzo Santoro. One more thing. When people post pictures of their children on Twitter, that really irritates me for some reason. It really grinds my gears. I agree. I really don't care how happy your children are. I mean, you can keep posting your pictures of your kids, but I don't give a damn about your your kids. You know, I, I, like I think he even mentioned that it was like, you know, um, it just irritated him. Right? Yeah, it irritated him, and it, it is irritating to 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 see those pictures sometimes but i just have to think i well i see like these happy family photos and stuff like that and these happy photos and anytime i see like a happy photo on social media i just think about how unhappy they actually are in real life and they're just fucking kidding with us they're just being phony they're just being fake they're making us think that their lives are perfect and nothing is wrong when in fact everything is wrong Everything. Every fucking thing is wrong. You can post all the stupid, happy, fucking, phony-ass fucking pictures you want on social media. But I see through your bullshit. I see through your phoniness. I see through you completely. So you can keep doing it and doing it. If it makes you feel good that you're posting these happy family photos and stuff like that. And these happy, the happy relationship ones are even great too because i know those people probably argue whenever they aren't taking these pictures hell they probably even argue about how to take the picture they probably like it probably takes like 10 to 20 takes for them to get the perfect fucking picture and that's what makes me happy about it because i know that these people are just as miserable as i am no matter how happy that they appear to be on social media because not only are people stupid, but people are also phony and stupid. Because, well, it kind of goes hand in hand. Because if you're, if you're phony, then you're stupid. If you're phony and you're stupid, clap your hands. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of What's Pissing You Off Wednesday. Um, I certainly did. Uh, I, I, I felt good about this episode. I really did. Um, and I hope you felt good about it too. Or if you're not, you can go fuck yourself. But anyway, happy What's Pissing You off Wednesday, everybody.